Spotlight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Uh, last but not least here, Jabes, really, really want to get into um, this picture. And it's fucking real, man. Uh, the American Airlines, a, a passenger brought on a miniature horse as their support animal. No. Nope. Yes. And this was flying How from... How big? It's a fucking Shetland pony. Oh, Lord, quit. This yes. This cannot be real. Jamie, mark this point for the video show, and we can pull this picture up to post uh, it in here. Um, therapy horse. A therapy horse on a plane. It's fucking... I mean, it. it's a big guy. It looks like a Shetland pony. And it's, Where is it going to? It's sitting the row behind first. First class. And the flight was from Chicago to Omaha. And I don't know how you get that thing through the airport. There's like, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't fucking believe it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No. Is that crazy? No. So obviously people are. Well, how, how, did, how did it get that far? How did it get that far? I, I don't know. How do you even get We didn't it? let a peacock. We don't let a lizard. How do you... So looking at the, the size of this horse, right? Because you can't put it in a car. You would have to tow your trailer, your horse trailer, to the airport. And look, this is at Chicago, man. This is at O'Hare. So like... And then what? Your buddy's going to drive you and drop you off? Because you don't park your car, do you? In like long term or short term? With your trailer on it, there's not enough space in those parking lots. Bro, I don't know. And then you bring the horse on. How do you even get this into... Because let's say you're just checking in, right? Yeah. Then you've got to walk it through security, the security line? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like how does it get this far? But you know, the, when you guys watch the videos, it's hilarious because it is somebody just doing the dun, dun, dun close up on just a horse's head hanging out of a seat. Really I mean, funny. It is really funny. Nuts, dude. But um, you like, know, it, it's almost hard to believe it's real. If somebody didn't snap that, I'd be like, no. Like, if somebody told me that story, I would be like, you're fuck off. That that can't be true. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. I mean, I just here's my thing. So, but there's Pete. There's somebody sitting next to this person, and then the horse is in front of them. I'd be like, hey, man, get your fucking horse out of the way. I pack my bag or I um I check my bag no matter how big or small because of the anxiety that I feel from having to find a place for it on the plane mm -hmm. um I like to personally travel with just myself like right yeah like, you know if, if I have kids I, I have to bring them fine but the best part the only good part about flying is just like, just check your bag, right. bring your purse, sit down, have your foot, like just not worry. It's, it's nerve wracking enough for me. And yeah. I don't need a therapy, anything therapy. Yes. But I don't need a therapy, like thing, animal, whatever. And yeah. I, uh, and I am still like, it gives me anxiety to have to like carry more than one bag. So the fact that someone is willing to bring the horse on, have to deal with it, yeah. not be able to relax the entire flight, having everyone look at them and be like, to me, that would give me more anxiety than it would a, a calming therapeutic oh, horse, yeah. Yeah. right? Yes. It seems like the complete opposite of what the, achieve, what the, the intended effect is. Crazy. Right? Like thinking about their whole travel experience with the therapy horse makes me crazy. Yeah. Makes I, me so nervous. I, I can't and believe it. And even the going up to the security, because you know how like I don't like to do anything wrong anyways. So the anxiety of that, of like bringing the horse and being like, are they going to be cool with this? That whole thing is like a nightmare. Nightmare. 
I'm like weighing my bag, just like, please just let it off. Please don't mm-hmm. charge me extra for my yeah. hair dryer. Did I take all the liquids out? Like, that's my experience. Banana dick. This is crazy. And a horse with me would absolutely compound that a million times. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even that, but what if it dumps out in the airport? What do you do then? How do you clean that up? When you get napkins from Cinnabon? Just clean that up with uh, you know, fistful of napkins from Cinnabon. Oh, sorry, my horse took a shit in the airport. I gotta clean this up with a And uh, they do napkins from Cinnabon. They do. If there's anything that just shits a little bit all day long, it's, it's a, a horse. horse. It's a fucking horse. 